Hey everyone, uh, in preparation for this series, I have been going through boxes and bagses. Bagses? Bagses. That's a Lord of the Rings reference. No, boxes and bags of old stuff and uh, piled them up and moved them about and shoved them in the basement and the garage and all that. And, and now I have uh, a lot of odds and ends that even in the context of the containers that are in, I no longer know what's inside. Uh, because like if one thing was a, a desk drawer that I had emptied out and I piled on top of it a box of decorations, now this thing is a mixture of uh, weird uh, like office supplies from the 80s and uh, like Christmas decorations. And I have no idea where any of this came from or why. So I'm just making this uh, harder on myself, which is what you pay for I, or support or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be even more random than most of these random unboxings. And we have a lot of uh, upcoming videos, including a few guest videos coming up soon. So uh, hit bells, I guess, subscribes, and then um, and set up a notification on your Etsy. I don't know. So like a lot of people f growing up in the 80s and 90s, I liked Garfield. I apologize. Garfield has gotten a lot of bad rap recently. That is not a sentence I thought I was going to say in a video that I post on the internet. But hey, here we are. Uh, yeah, Garfield um, was cool when you were a little kid. I don't know what about this is like good or entertaining. It's cute. Um, it's, uh, it's obviously a Christmas stocking that has seen better days. I think that's probably a push pin that was pushed into something to hang it up uh we never really celebrated christmas growing up but for some reason i did have a stocking um jim davis is garfield this is his plumper he's not original 1978 super fat plump guy but uh he's clearly not the more svelte cgi version of uh garfield you see today he is skiing i assume downhill and he is not happy about it, but, like, did you... What happened before this? Did you accidentally put the skis on? Did you not realize you were going to have a bad time? Uh, I thought you didn't like any kind of athletic exercise. I think maybe I was spending too much time on the stocking. Oh, yeah, so the, the legend has it that I was the <laughs> person in the family that uh, asked, well, we're not, we're not Christian. Why do we celebrate Christmas? And, uh, like... I basically uh, gave my parents an excuse to say, all right, no more Christmas, take it away. So yes, I was an early Grinch, proto-Grinch. Uh, I've since softened on this, much to the chagrin of the keep pricing Christmas crowd. But, you know, you can. Go for it. Keep it. I keep Garfield in Christmas because that's where my heart belongs. I Yeah, I... I vaguely remember getting notes from my older sisters in this. I don't think, um, I don't think I ever, uh, got like little trinkets. That's what you get in, in, in stockings. You get stocking stuff or small toys or whatever, right? I don't think I ever did that. So this is, this was either purely decorative and hopeful that someone might give me stuff, or I think it was a way of passing notes. I remember as a youngster, my sisters and I would, uh, make like mailboxes for each other and put it outside our rooms and uh then just be passive aggressive with each other and not leave any messages so there's that oh a ziploc bag to keep the freshness in uh these i remember pretty well I always, always remember these little balance birds as a kid that, for some reason, reminded me of the falcon, maybe, from He-Man? The sorceress turns into, like, some sort of bird. Falcon, I'm thinking. Um, and I, if I recall correctly, that belongs there, and that belongs there. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I, I kind of remember. So, anyways, uh, these are balance birds, if you don't know what they are, if you've never seen one before. They're these cheapo little toys you would get in, like five and dimes or dollar stores i live I, I grew up in the era between five and dimes and dollar stores so you would just get these at cheapo stores uh and they're usually non-branded and yeah that's it they just balance because of the weights and the wings and that's it and you could put them on a pedestal and they'll 
barely balanced. Yeah, it's not touching. This one I got first. This is, I think, the first one I ever got. I don't remember asking for multiple versions of this, but it's just something I guess you would either get on vacation or just get as a gift from someone who came over from the Middle East. Notice that the Eiffel Tower that this bird is bouncing on is higher. Maybe you don't notice because of perspective, but it is. So he does a more impressive job of balancing. Whoa, look at that. It's art. Yeah, I, I this is one of many kind of these gifts, these um knockoff probably made in China. Yep, made in China. You can barely see it, but it's there. Uh toys that um importer exporter stores would have. I don't know if this will come up in this episode or in a future episode, but my father used to run a couple of like I guess convenience stores or uh, novelty stores that had a lot of these things in it. And that's probably where I got most of these things, things I didn't sell or they were in like ripped boxes and I got to keep them. Um, but like there, like there's no, obviously there's no story behind this, no franchise. You could hear the weights still loose in there. And when I use this, the studio lights, you could even see that they're in there. And l interesting story, the weights that they used were actually exotic coins. I have no, I have no idea. They, they probably not inside of coins, but uh, yeah. So I, I really hoped, and I thought that they were together. The, the, I had one other kind of balance bird thing uh, as a kid that I have not seen yet. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it was a promotional item from a kid's meal. So it was a branded kind of like toy uh, that had a. Um, uh, it was based on a Fox cartoon show from the 90s, I want to say, that was slightly adult in feel. Uh, and uh, hopefully it'll come up in one of these bags immediately. If not, you can try to guess what it is in the comments. And if you're right and I find it, I will show it on a video. All right, this bag. Uh, it's been a long time since I went to Apple country. Uh, we don't want to talk about Apple Country. New York State. Apple Country. Yeah, this is a I think an older bag for someone who only wants a little bit of apples. I wanna I wanna drive. I'm a Benny, I wanna drive from New Jersey to New York. I wanna buy a bunch I wanna see all the foliage and I wanna see all the colors. And then I wanna buy a very small half peck. Sorry, half peck of uh, apples. Alright? Delicious fancy. I'm assuming these are all things involving apples or maybe just like the person who bagged it. Hey, look, instructions, breakfast, apple slices and oatmeal, done. Applesauce on French whole wheat toast, done. Lunch, apple slices on peanut butter sandwich, done. Apple slices with lean pork slices and rice, done. Applesauce and snack, apple slices and low fat cheese, applesauce and pretzels, dinner, apples, Dessert apples, all things. Ooh, there is actually no dessert apples. That's just it's, it's kind of a miss thing right there. But I mean, apple pie is a thing. But okay, uh, apple, apple, apple. Don't stop eating apples. And that's the apple bag bit. All right. I know a couple people who will be maybe excited to see these things. It's a pony, perhaps even a My Little Pony. There's some weird extra stuffing that came from something. And this thing's ribbon is gone, but this is like unrelated stuffing. Maybe, oh, you know, it probably came from the, uh, from the, um, Garfield sock. That's not the word, stocking. All right, so uh, there's only two of these. Uh, no memory of these whatsoever. No memory of my sister's playing with them, although it does seem like it's the older version. Not the, it's certainly not the Friendship is Magic version. These could also just be knockoffs. I am not a My Little Ponies aficionado. Uh, I know some of the people who are subscribed to this channel are, so please jump into the comments and learn us about them. I'm just going to guess right here. This one is... Um, this is a, a, a ponette, and this is a full pony. There's a cast system, of course, a rigid cast system. Uh, this is Flower, whose uh, interests involve producing manure... And um, being by 
I mean that there are two flowers. I think I thought standard uh, ponies only have a beauty mark. What is it called? Pony mark? Uh, cutie mark. I'm not sure if that's official or if that's just a new thing from the new series. But yeah, I thought they only had it one side. So this one's clearly up is by um, coloration. Uh, this is um, a little ponette who is known as Tide Pod. This is Tide Pod, the Yennial. That's why she's so much smaller than the other one, because she's younger. Uh, she eats things a lot. And um, her interest is in uh, Timothy Lachey Chablet. I, don't, I can't remember his name anymore. Uh, and also TikTok. But has never really heard of Vine. Or, paradoxically, is very, um, like, remin like, misses it and attaches way too much value to the service. Yeah, I don't know what these these may be my nieces cuz I don't think they were all I don't think these are my sisters and I didn't really have any my little ponies, not that there's anything wrong with it. Whoa! That's great. Hey, what's that loop in the camera you're telling me? It's the apple bag. Apples. Eat apples every day. Never stop eating apples. Go to hell if you don't want to eat apples. All right, that was that pile. Uh, very odd, weird mix. Let's move on. Oh, should I have concealed these? I don't know. I hopefully I didn't. What is that horrible sound? Oh, that is my uh, phone receiving a phone call. All right. If there's an address on this, I may have to cut these out. Freeride.com, uh, a Minnesota service that I don't recall at all. This is super weird. All right, let me just put this aside and see if that envelope had anything of interest in it. That has an address. Um, oh, hey, this is pretty cool. I'm glad I, this did definitely come from that desk. Uh, I'm glad I kept this. We'll give you a free Palm 3E at City when you open up an account. Hey, there's no expiration date on this. Maybe you people can... There's probably an expiration date on this. But hey, try to uh, do a screenshot and see if you could claim it. That sounds like fun. Um, no context. Drawing my car. That looks like a Jeep. I believe that's not a truck bed. I think that's like the front of the car. There's a horn there. There's like some sort of shovel and there's, oh no, those are the horn, those are bullhorns in the front that may or may not be a wreath, like a Christmas wreath and a pirate flag, of course, and also a, um, maybe a raccoon tail coming off of that. I would like to believe that that was something I drew as a child with sparklers, but I'm almost positive this is something I drew. <laughs> in like high school or college because it was like ironically bad which for those of you who subscribe to non-productive know is my melu we probably don't need to keep that uh da -da 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 -da. i believe i have a piece of paper that has three people's phone numbers on it including someone's pager um john Stephen, kurt let's get together for that world of darkness game those are the names on the sheet. I'm not going to share it just in case. Oh, 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 this is awesome. Weird, weird stuff. Mystery Science 3000. Three, 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 the magazine was a Trekker magazine, maybe? it's The phone number is 800 Trekker. I could look this up and figure it out. Uh, I'm almost certain I stored it for this page, but we could look at the back later on. Uh, declare your love of Z-grade motion picture art with the mega weird monster... Oh, sorry. Monster Brain shirt. A Monster Brain shirt at a low, low price of 15 bucks for Brainy. That's great. Uh, Robot Buddies. Da -da -da -da. These are logo shirts. Uh, I guess these are all things I would have wanted. Heckler's Delight. That's not a great looking shirt, but I'm okay with it. I'm Evil. Of course, I'm Huge and Bite Me. Uh... Holy Crow, this, how many times can you make this? In MST3K, the movie. So this was uh, coming out uh, around the time of the MST3K movie. Hey, we just brought back MST3K, and I think we're making more MST3K, which is exciting. Uh, this is the infamous Amazing Colossal Ep 
episode guide with, hey, spoiler alert, if you follow our Every Book Ever contest, eventually that's going to, contest, but series, eventually that's going to be revealed because my good friend Ahmed did give me a copy of every episode, what is this called? The Amazing Colossal Episode Guide. That's right. The other side of this paper, which maybe that's what Frank kept this for, who knows, The Stranger Videos? I don't know what The Stranger is. I don't quite know. There seems like there's at least two people here who used to be at Do Who's, Doctor Who's. If you're British, but only if you're British, and you know stuff about The Stranger, why don't you leave a comment? If you leave a comment about The Stranger and you're not verifiably British, I swear to God, I will make you sorry. Do you understand me? All right, there's also these Doctor Who uh, videos. I was a Doctor Who monster, which is some dude who's inside a Dalek. And I don't know who that dude is because of the glare of this piece of paper and because I haven't read it. I don't think it's the person who created it. Um, infamous sort of contention between uh, the creator of the Daleks and the actual Doctor Who uh, licensee holders. Doctor Who, Daleks, Invasion of Earth, 2150 AD. I believe that's a book, isn't it? Earth isn't eerie, blah, 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 blah. By then, blah, blah, blah. No... No details. I'm not actually sure if this is a book or not. Peter Cushing, unless he wrote it. I don't know if this is an adaptation of something or someone who has better read than me learned that. Um, Deja Who. <laughs> All right. And Doctor's 30 Years. Only 30 Years of Time Travel and Beyond. Someone can do the math and figure out when this, this magazine came out. Because you could figure out how old the Doctor is and then subtract 30 years or just look up when the uh, the movie came out. Because that's probably easier. All right. I like the new look to your catalog and appreciate you sending me one. I also like the article you had about the new Doctor Who movie. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Lee S. USA. If you're Lee S. from the USA, I can make your life miserable. Well, I don't know why I threatened Lee S. from USA. Um, is it just USA? All right. Damn, it's possible. Let's see what else is in this weird bag of stuff. All right. My address is on this, and I am slightly weird about that, even though it's an old address. RPGA, the world is what you made it. Let's see what this is. Some people are going to be super excited about it. Uh, and then some people are going to be like, yeah, we were in the RPGA since the the 70s or whatever. Aha! Uh -huh. Dear member, Frank Hublawi. It also has my address, so I'm going to be a little iffy about that. And the date, November 2000. So, again, some people are going to be like, 2000, who cares? And then other people are going to be like, wow, 2000, that's so old. And they're going to be like nieces and nephews of mine. And then a few people are going to be like, wait, 2000, who cares? Wait a minute, that was 20 years ago. That was 21 years ago. Oh my God, I'm old. Oh my God, I'm old. And uh, that is the sweet spot. You hold in your hands an artifact of the 20th century, a paper letter. These days, we are working hard to become more efficient in every way we can, and the internet offers us a number of opportunities to achieve this. Going forward, you can expect to see more communication from us via email and our website, and less via paper in your mailbox. Good on you, RPGA Network. Good on you. Um, wow, and it keeps going on, talking about how we don't want to lose people because of this new age of switching over and cost effectiveness and passwords and wizards.com that RPG. Hey, good for you. I like this. I like this letter. I don't know why I kept it. Maybe it was for this video series. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Maybe I'll look it over in my own time and if it's at all interesting in other ways. Or if you want me to read it, leave a comment with your credit card number and its expiration date. And then I will revisit this. Here is a WRSU thing. Nice. Uh, it does have details about, um, I think it was a letter of recommendation, so I don't want to go into details of who it was. Yeah, was it? Yes, it was a letter of recommendation I wrote for someone. 
So, the, and if you're that person, <laughs> leave a comment with your credit card number and uh, your um, list of fears. Instant stick correction tape for typewriters. And word processors, I guess. I had a word processor that I used for like maybe two weeks. And then I got a computer. Uh, but then I had used a typewriter for uh, my early like schooling. When I wasn't handwriting things. Which was obviously the majority of the time. So this, uh, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I used it to label some stuff here and there. I can't believe it's still tactile. But who knows? It's possible. Uh, there's a blank notebook that is... I've got pounds of these notebooks. Uh, I have no idea where they came from. My dad owned a store, and I think these were just little, literally pounds of these papers. They're still everywhere, to the point where I thought, hey, this isn't interesting. I'm not even going to show it on camera. And guess what? It isn't interesting. But I am going to show it on camera, because there was a time when I tried to use this as a format to make a comic strip, because I did not understand that things were shrunk down for comic strips, and that I'm not a good artist. Uh, apparently something I've always done is keep twist ties, which that's not, that can't be healthy. This, uh, this looks like, like a modern, uh, Rat King. Look up a Rat King, folks, if you don't know what it is, but that basically what it said it is. I really need to get rid of these things. Uh, some more in this elaborate freeride.com. I actually checked out that website earlier and it does not exist anymore. I think it was a way of like, like, like getting bonuses for things. Um... Some uh, cleaning wipes, also meaningless. And then here we go. These are labels for, I wish I knew the size of the cassette, uh, but the old kind of uh, actual cassette tape um, video cameras. And I don't know the size of it. If you know, you know what to do. Yeah, uh, just a lot of these old labels for these things that I would only ever do on home movies on when we were on vacation. Um, and possibly a few for my, uh, yeah, an 8mm data cartridge. So, yeah, it's interesting that I have, uh, that I kept them separate uh, for so long because they were, um, like... I tried digitizing them a few years ago and they came out okay. And I think I'm going to try one more time to digitize them, but eventually I'm going to have to decide when do I take these old analog mediums and just say, these should go away. Because the next version of digit digitization isn't really going to improve it at all. Because it's not like we're going to go back and remaster Frank's home videos in Disney World. Unless... Patreon.com forward slash nonpro will we'll have a funding thing. This is probably of interest to literally one person watching this video. Collegeclub.com, the world's largest online college community. This predates Facebook by, I think, a decade, maybe more. I don't know if the site still exists, so, you know, viewer beware. Don't just visit it. Uh, and download whatever virus that they have there. I don't know anything about it. But um, at the time, a roommate in college had uh, an older brother who I believe worked there as, a, as it was effectively a startup. I'm not sure if the language of startup was really used that much. Um, and I remember that at the time, the Blair Witch Project had just come out. And they had some like promotional stuff for some reason with the Blair Rich Project. I don't have any details. If you want to, if you're that brother and you want to do an interview, we could talk about it. Um, but like I got like a little necklace or something that had that Blair Witch Project symbol on it. And I guess post-it notes that are, have lost literally all their tack. So off-brand post-it notes. Um, and it was just a way of like making club sites for college kids it was a it was like an early proto social networking site that i don't think became the backbone of anything i think it just went away um but you know early internet was a crazy place freeride.com collegeclub.com and you could get your own palm 3e if you only signed away uh your credit history uh, let's see if there's anything immediately interesting in this bag. I'm seeing a lot of recent stuff here. 
Um, I want to pull out one more thing, but no, there's no nothing left. Uh, I think we're going to have to end it on that because um, I think everything else in this bag was like literally meaningless. But if I find something interesting, hey, you know where to go, uh, where I'll go, and then where you should go to see it here on our YouTube channel, you know, youtube.com forward slash nonproductive. Hit subscribe. Also hit that bell icon. Also hit that donate button. There's no donate button, but like if there was one, hit it. Um, hit your keypad, keyboard, until it says non-productive.com and then hit enter. Then when the page loads, first of all, hit the browser button on your computer. Do I have to tell you how to do this? Just keep hitting things until eventually you get to our website and find our fine podcast and you can subscribe to all of them, including the ones that I don't like, which I will release in an upcoming video. All the episodes and series on our network that I do not care for. It'll be a long video. <laughs>